Now I can show you how to analyze the data. And I'll take the glass slab out and put it aside. And I'll take the pins out too. They're marked, so I know where they were. I've got two runs here, A and B, two trials, A and B. And what I'll do is I'll take from pin one to pin two, or from pin two to pin one really, the light came in, so I'll draw a straight line. And then it went from, this is, this is trial B. Uh, point one is for A and B. The light comes in from here, goes into the slab, and then it crosses the slab and it comes out over here. You can see it's not the same angle. So it goes across the slab. I can even put an arrow just telling me which way the light goes. And then when it comes out, it goes from this point through the other. We know this because they line up. And so now we've got the path of the light for that that one. We can also do it, the, 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 the more trivial one is the from 2A went to 1. Again, that's a straight line, almost 90 degrees. And then it went across. And then it went out. That one, that one was not a good example because it just goes straight through and doesn't really show the effect. But the light came through. You get the idea. So we're going to come here here and here. This angle, if this really is 90 degrees, as it should be, um, the angle from 90 degrees, what's called normal, uh, will be the incident angle. And then this angle here will be angle theta, we'll call it theta 2. This is incident angle theta 1, theta 2. And then coming out, well, we would have to take the angle from normal. I don't have a normal drawn here. But with the protractor, you can measure the angle not, not from here, but away from normal. Now you may need to extend these lines farther, and I may need to draw these from more, more in the middle of the paper. But this was an initial trial just to show you the idea. And then what we'll do is we'll move pin two around to get various incident angles, and then we'll measure where to put the pin three and pin four to measure the exit angle.